So one of the questions I hear a lot is, should I be using workspaces um, or fo separate folders to separate my environments? And that question kind of depends. Uh, you know, workspaces kind of work when you're, if you're using Terraform Cloud or your local environment and you want to keep that level of separation between different environments, uh, using different, um, you know, state files, things like that. Uh, you know, it kind of helps in, you know, things like that but you can use the same code. And if you see my last video, I did a quick demonstration on how to basically use one set of code to deploy to three different environments. Well, you can also do that using separate folders. And some people don't like that because, you know, you could um, duplicate the code and you have three, three areas where you have to maintain it, but you can do what's uh, use what's called modules to help kind of maintain that um, still keep your, your code dry, but then also, keep three separate um, instances of your uh, code that you're deploying. So to just show, I'm gonna do a quick demo on how to set that up. So I have a folder called modules here. I'm actually going to make sure to see what's inside of there. Go ahead, let me remove this. So basically what a module is, is it's a basically uh, opinionated way to set up something um, in Terraform, such as like, you know, whether it's a resource group, depending on your provider of choice, but you can basically uh, reduce the need to have to redeploy or um, reconfigure that same set of code all the time. So you can set like defaults and optionals and stuff like that. So I'm going to create a module for a resource group, something real simple. So I'm going to do my main.tf in here. Now there's a, you know, Terraform way to kind of set your modules up, um, you know, as best practice, but I'm just gonna kind of have this set up real simple here within the same file. So I'm gonna have a variable called resource group name and the, oops, and then I'm gonna have a variable called resource group location. So within your variable, you usually want to, you know, have like your type. So when people are using your variable, um, they're sending across the right, um, you know, information, then, you know, maybe a description and then a default value if we want, but we're not going to set any defaults on this. So it's going to require them to input some type of information. Then we're going to just have a resource block called Azure RM. And then the name is going to be var dot resource group name in the location. All right, so that's a real simple module um, that's going to just deploy in a just deploy a resource group. Um, so, but it, it looks simple. You wouldn't really want to create a module for a resource group. I just want to show you how essentially multiple environments can use the same code using a module and keeping their uh, works, uh, state files separate. So I got three folders here inside of a folder called workspaces. I'm going to delete these. Uh, I'm, not, I'm actually going to keep those TFR files. Let me go ahead and delete this here. And then my old workspaces folder, I'm going to delete that. Okay. So I got three environments here. So we're going to call this main.tf we're going to call this one main.tf and we're going to call this one main.tf as well and you can have your own tfrs files and stuff within this dev folder so we're so essentially this dev folder is going to be self-contained within this workspaces here. Uh, I'm actually gonna remove this because each folder is gonna get its own set of modules that it deploys. So now within each of these, we have to go into these and run like our initialization and everything. So actually, let me go into here. So to be able to call that module, we're gonna call this um, module, um, give it a name. So I'm gonna just call this dev. And then our source is going to be um, 
modules. And then what did I call? Actually, I'm gonna create a new folder and call this RG. So in case you have different modules, you can call specific folders. So RG. And then only thing that I need is, uh, I do need variables within, so since my variables are resource group name and resource group location, I need to make sure that I define those inside my modules here. So now I'm gonna go resource group name equals Kevin, and resource group location is going to be, um, let's say central US. All right. So I got that module. Now I was going to do a variables file and, and, and actually push those through variables, but I'll just show that how simple this is here. So now I have a module that creates a resource group and I don't need to actually define the Azure RM resource group, but you know, that module could also define other things. So within that module, we could have something that has a subnet and a VNet. And we can have all of that defined without even saying, you know, we can have the VNet name created from the actual resource group name. There's a lot of things you can do to set things up without having someone else have to manually uh, do that for each network. So now I can essentially take this same module and we can call this one prod. And the resource group name for that is going to be Kevin Prod. And then for stage, we take the same format and Kevin dash stage. So now if we go, we got three separate folders. And if you know, each folder is its own root module. So now we have three folders using a, um, a module that we created so the code is still clean it's dry it's not a lot of uh um, resources um resources that you have to take up to manage that you can essentially manage that resource and that module in one location now uh, as long as you're not introducing any breaking changes across your other environments that's using that module so let's go ahead and save that and run it so we do need our initial uh let me put my let me grab this block here. So we're gonna need that. And let's place that up there, save that. And also in our stage file here. Oops. All right. So now we got those set up and let's go into each folder here. So we're gonna go into the dev and we're gonna do a Terraform init. So as you can see here, now we get our own module that's getting downloaded from this dev folder. And as you can see the module called, oh, dev, I'm inside of it here. So dev dot terraform modules dot json okay now we see the source it's looking at so now if we do a terraform plan we should only get that particular resource group that's going to get deployed there so we're going to hit terraform apply auto approve and then we're going to do the same thing for these other environments. So let's open up the Terraform plan. And so now we get our separate states. Now we get our state file separated here. Uh, if we go back into, now if we do a Auto approve that one. And then let's go into this folder here as well and run the same thing. 
So now the good thing about this is we have separate folders um, that have separate state files. And with those state files, we do limit now the blast radius. So if anything was to happen to one particular environment, um, you know, you have those separate state files separated so you don't introduce any problems. So now if we go back to our other, so we got three resource groups that's been created. And so if you look in, okay, making sure those are all correct. All right, so now if we do ever need to make any changes, um, we can uh, make those changes within the same module folder or module group. And, and now we can easily manage that across multiple environments because the modules are, are each uh, folder is using that same module, so the code essentially is still dry. You do just have to maintain it now into three different environments, but it, it, it could just make it easier and, and you don't have to worry about using one particular uh, file structure to maintain all that code. So again, uh, whether you use workspaces or um, separate folders, it's all perfect. It can all come down to a personal preference in how you're deploying across your environment or what kind of resources you are deploying. So again, if you have any questions in regards to how that's set up, um, you know, how to maybe structure it in your way for the type of resources you're deploying, reach out to me down below and I'll be sure to get back with you. Again, thanks for tuning in. Hope to see you next time.